Excuse me. Oh, hey, man. What's up? What on earth are you holding? Oh, this? This is just my AR pistol. That's not a pistol. That's an assault rifle. Oh, trust me. You've got nothing to fear. See, there's this little rainbow unicorn on the side, so it's perfectly safe for everyone to use. So, you got nothing to worry about. Are you okay? Where are you going? I'm calling the police, the FBI, to my mom. So anyway, What's going on everybody? My name is Blake. You're watching Midwest Ordnance. I'm finally getting around to doing a video on the first AR build that I've done. It's, it's, uh, it's something, but I'll explain that here in just a little bit. So I've been eager to make this. I wanted to show you guys this gun for the longest time. It took me about the better part of uh, six, seven months to actually get this thing built. So I'm finally going to get to show it off today. about this gun if a shit post was ever really a firearm this would be it so kind of like what Grantham does I'm gonna go from tip to butt and tell you guys a little bit about this because one I'm enthusiastic about it and maybe someone out there wants to know what the hell I have on here so for starters I've got a Hex Black Rain Ordnance um, Muzzle Brake. It was pretty neat. I threw it on at the last second because I saw it in their store, so why not get it? Um, 7 inch AR Stoner Side Charge Upper Receiver. And then I'm running the SIG, SIG MSR Red Dot with the Juliet 3. X magnifier <clears throat> which it does a pretty decent job of, of magnifying everything not the best in my opinion but I usually run without it it just looks pretty freaking neat to me and plus it was cheap where I got it next I've got the spike tactical lower which they call the snowflake lower hence that um i can't remember where i got this from but it's got the betsy ross flag with the 1776 on it and then of course you've got the safety selector and of course if i ever get a binary trigger or machine guns ever become legal again fingers crossed on that so you got safe space, triggered, and then full libtard. And then of course here with the safety selector, it's got a little bit of tritium in it. So in case I ever want to do any night shooting or anything else, apparently to some people, I can see better at night. So more fun. And then of course I've got the Rise Armament uh Folds of Honor trigger, about a four and a half pound pull. So I haven't had a whole lot of experiences with triggers. So this one by far is 
I want to say crispy. It's got a really good uptake and then a nice clean break. Um, what else? These little pivot and pin takedowns, I got them from like Beartooth something. I, for the love of God, I can't pronounce the name. I'll have it right here. So you can try and sound that out as best you can. I sure the hell can't. Um, I think I got the pistol grip from Wing Tactical and with any gun, you know, you got a 30 round magazine or in this case for this video, you have a 20 round magazine with one in the chamber and then plus three in the grip. So if you ever end up in a shitty situation where you need to have three rounds, whether you want to do the not alive thing anymore and you've got people around you or animals or you're a real good shot and you can take down the entire situation in three shots. So I thought that was something pretty cool and it's all rubberized and textured so easier to grip. I've seen a lot of people show hate for that kind of stuff having something in the grip. I don't care. I thought it was pretty neat and worth sharing. And then you just have your standard um, SB tactical brace. I actually meant to get a black one and I didn't see what colors they came in. I was kind of in a hurry. And so I didn't find out what color I got until I got home. So I think it gives it character. Now one of you might be wondering, why didn't I just SBR the damn thing? One, this gun I built from scratch besides the upper receiver. It cost me a lot of money over the past seven months to build this. Why? I've got bills. That's why it took me so long. But also, I don't want to pay that $200 tax stamp to one. I can technically shoulder this. I just don't want to pay the extra $200 to one have this fucking thing registered. I, I don't want to. Not to mention, I don't want to pay a, an additional $200 on top of already the ton of money that I put into this thing. It's not worth it in my opinion, so I didn't do it. Oh well. There are a couple of bills out there that do talk about removing the SBR definition from the NFA. So until that happens, I really don't want to put any more money into this thing than I already have to. So now that I really told you everything about this gun, let's get back out to the range. So if you want to see any more stupid stuff like that, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I'll wait. And so now that I shot a little bit of my gun, talked about it a little bit, I know some of you, especially being overseas, because I see that, I, I, I see you, probably wondering what the unbridled power of the American 556 by 45 holds. Well, I'm going to test that on some Bush's baked beans. And this is how we open cans in America. Eat the beans in three, two, one. Wow, way bigger than I expected. Okay. Dude, just on the record, I'm about mm, five yards from that can. And that shot blew beans back at me. Like, there's a piece of bean right there. There's another bean right there. There's just some everywhere else. Some more bean splatter. And, uh, yeah, that's how we open cans in America. Anyone hungry for some bean mush? I honestly expected, I did not expect this to happen. I expected it to just go in, go out with, well, not, not like this. Ooh. Obviously, it entered here because of the pressure, and it 
squirreled out like right there. And my berm is just cut. There's even fucking beans up there. There's a whole glob of beans. And there's beans on my slow-mo phone. Covered everywhere. Y'all want to see me shoot it again? You, you want to see me shoot it again? Prepared to get bean. So this is about what I actually expected for it to just, I'll pull it up and this is disgusting. Mm. Two bullet holes in there. I went ahead and I shot it again because I didn't think I hit it. And at most of what I was actually expecting was something more along the lines like that. This, this is disgusting. And because why not, why not some all purpose flour? Making food in three, two, one. All right, so that's where I hit the first time and I think I hit here the second time because I aimed a little bit lower on the second round. But I want to say that this flower is done for. Still got a ton of flour in here. So still all good. But if this is, that that's just gross. That's all milky and shit. It's just everywhere. It's just everywhere. Like I said, it's even on my slow-mo phone and even on the front of it. It's, it's just everywhere. But I got another thing because I was always told to clean up after my messes. All right, so for the very end of the video, I got two big one gallon jugs of water to clean up all that crap over there. Sounding it. Well, that's just disgusting. But somehow they both ended up here. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it smells a lot like the feed that you get, like a feed store for your animals. That's what all this smells like. But, uh, yeah, I, I would not eat that at all. Little bulge underneath, just from the pressure of the water, I would guess. It didn't clean it as well as I thought. But I've got another solution for that. Alright, so for the last thing that I've got, I've got 24 pack of water that I'm just going to mag dump into. Because why not end the video off on a mag dump? I think that's the best way a video, or any shooting video, should actually be done. Mag dumping. All right, so like I said, I'm going to mag dump this entire case of water using this. So, YouTube, this is a 20 round magazine. See, there's, it's not a 30. It's got 20 in it. So, I'm applying by you guys' rules. So... Don't, uh, don't strike me or anything. I'm trying to play nice for you. That is nasty. I can definitely tell uh, they got 
pretty mangled, at least most of them did. There's still a few in here that did survive. Got one. Seven survivors out of that whole 24 pack. But here at my range, we don't have any of that. Mm-mm, no. Well guys, I think that's about it for this video. I had a lot of fun shooting it, filming it, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I've been really wanting to show this gun off for the longest time. If you've been around on my Twitter or if you've been around on my Instagram, you will know exactly what this gun is. I've teased it a little bit. I've, especially on Instagram, like I've built it over, like I said, about the course of seven months, I think. I got it, I got the lower part last summer. And I've just been building on and on and on to it. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys are new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe. It really helps me out. really gets my content out there. And if you really want to follow me on my social medias, I got my Twitter and my Instagram down in the links below. So my name is Blake. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.